Songs of happiness like this are sung in all languages around the world. Happy farmers sing them while harvesting their crops, fruit of a year of hard work. However, tunes here are more excited because here there is a different, unique story. Indeed, these golden spikes, now standing as to climb up to the sun, have been grown on land that was for centuries rocky, uncultivable and hostile. It was a barrier in the face of generations of desperate farmers. Now, the land is arable and generous, so this small Syrian farmer is twice happy. Happy is also this herder. Bedouin around the Badia, the steep area that occupies more than 50% of the land surface of Syria, had almost given up hope that life would one day return to their pastures. The land had deteriorated and lost their vegetation cover, becoming almost a desert. But they are now confident that the sheep could be spread in the revived sites and could graze accordingly to pre-designed plants. These farmer and herder are among others 1,500,000 beneficiaries of six projects implemented around the country by the Syrian Ministry of Agriculture and Agrarian Reform, MAR. Projects are designed and supported by the International Fund for Agricultural Development, IFAD, a UN agency based in Rome. Cooperation between Syria and IFAD started in 1982. Since then, IFAD has financed six agricultural development projects in Syria with a total cost of 406.16 million US dollars, of which IFAD loans and grants amounted to 96.66 million US dollars. Co-financiers have been the Arab Fund for Economic and Social Development, the World Bank, the United Nations Development Programme, the Government of Syria and beneficiaries. IFAD interventions in Syria focus on supporting the government's efforts to improve the social and economic well-being of the poorer segments of the rural population by promoting better natural resource use and environmental protection raising productivity and halting the marginalization of poor rural areas. In these terms, de-rocking has been an unmitigated success. It is difficult to conceive of an investment in agriculture that could have had a more dramatic effect. The increase in areas planted with apple and olive trees nationally reported by MAR during the implementation period of the present portfolio amounts to just over 104,000 hectares. Of this, IFAD supported projects have contributed about 40%. For individual farmers, de-rocking significantly increases the area available for planting. In addition, de-rocking permits easier plowing and seedbed preparation and increases water infiltration and retention. Following de-rocking, the value of land multiplies. Projects with de-rocking components are Southern Region Agriculture Development Project, SRADP 1 and 2 already closed, Coastal Midland Agriculture Development Project, CMADP, Jabal al Hus Agriculture Development Project, JHADP, and now Idlib Rural Development Project, IRDP. All are intended to de-rock around 178,000 hectares, an ambitious but realistic objective intended to fulfill dreams of poor farmers. They own land, but had forgotten it, because useless. Now they could see it revived and arable, they could work it and sustain their livelihood. In this step, a human inaccuracies and natural factors 
facilitated deteriorating significant parts of the Badia. The Badia and Rangeland Development Project, BRDP, the biggest project in IFAD portfolio, is intended to rehabilitate about 3 million hectares. Interventions made have demonstrated clear success. Biodiversity and wildlife have come back to their rangeland areas. Rangeland rehabilitation have not only improved the quality of meat, milk and wool of sheep, but also resulted to a large supply of biomass, hence a direct financial gain for the herders. The most important success established by the project is the introduction of the participatory approach and consequently the confidence built with inhabitants. Bedouin themselves protect now plants and shrubs until fully grown. Land reclamation and rehabilitation are only a first step toward rural development. They are usually accompanied by projects, credit lines, training courses and extension services that in order to permit beneficiaries increasing family incomes and improving life quality. For the first time, rural women in project areas could benefit from loans relax procedures, especially for collateral. IFAD is now introducing also an innovative microcredit approach successfully tested in Syria by a UNDP project. Women have been targeted for on-farm development assistance, for milk and dairy processing, tasks that are traditionally performed by women and also for off-farm development assistance in food processing, home gardening and handicrafts. Training courses are designed and implemented by projects to assist beneficiaries, rural women included, to diversify on and off-farm activities, gain additional income and improve quality of life. This young man is a son of one rural woman, beneficiary of CMADP. She set up this shop, now run by her son. They together are able now to earn more money. In this remote village of Jabal al hus this rural woman had a number of sheep thanks to a JHADP loan. Milk is sold but some quantities are always left to satisfy family needs. This rural family had a loan for shammy goats, a breed well known in high milk and twins production. This rural woman had a loan and a project training cost to buy and operate this tricot machine. She is now good enough to manufacture clothes for the village inhabitants. Thanks to credit, training and extension, Bedouin women in the BRDP are able now to sew clothes for their family members and to earn additional income. Special emphasis is put by projects on adult literacy courses which ensure women's participation in rural life. More than 2,000 literacy courses are planned and being implemented by IFAD supported projects. Extension units provide services to projects target groups. Innovative communication extension services are introduced by projects. An amusing approach, the mobile extension theater, is much appreciated by beneficiaries. It's also an innovative communication extension tool that facilitates extension packages delivery. Water is a critical issue over much of Syria. Water harvesting techniques are introduced to utilize rainwater for drinking and irrigation purposes. In this connection, most of the traditional water harvesting methods are being improved and reintroduced to ensure water supply for supplementary irrigation. Roman wells in the Badia and in some other project areas are being rehabilitated in order to satisfy human and sheep drinking needs. Simple water harvesting techniques are also introduced in the Badia 
to better utilize the scarce rainwater in irrigating shrubs and plants. Projects work also to improve local cattle productivity, spread of shiny goats and awati sheep, as well as to encourage beekeeping. Support is provided to livestock infrastructures, artificial insemination program and marketing. Designing projects, EFAD's missions have paid special attention to environmental and cultural issues. Consultation with all involved parties, beneficiaries included, have always been on missions agenda. All family members of the target groups are now able to eat bread they made themselves. The wheat is grown on their land, they harvest and they bake it. Farmers' sons forced to immigrate to towns could now stay home and work their own lands. Socioeconomic well-being level in many rural areas has been raised and new job opportunities created. From south to north, the will for development in Syria is determined to ensure a respectful life for all, especially for small farmers and rural women who have suffered throughout the years. <laughs>